Alrighty folks, we're here at the horse tie up area. So if you're a horse rider watching my video, you come here, tie your horses up. You cannot take them down into the preserve. Um, foot traffic only. So definitely wanna wanna respect that because it's precious plants and flora and stuff like that. And it can be a little dangerous on a horse, I, I would think. A lot of slick spots. So um, just tie them up and but definitely get off the horse and walk down here and check it out. It's worth a, it's worth seeing at least once. Well, howdy, folks. Sean here from hikingwithsean.com. And as you can see, today we're in Lust Creek Wilderness. We are at the Indian Kitchen Trailhead, which is here. And we are going to go here, check out that. Uh, we've been here before, obviously. We're going to Indian Kitchen area. But we're going to take the old trail. I've not done the old trail in a long time. And we're going to go see the kitchen. And then we're going to take the new trail back. We might even go up through here and check out some of that. Um, that's the plan. Alright, so you park uh, over here and you cross the road. And this is the wilderness. Got wilderness on horseback and foot only through here all right folks so this is the old trail it goes through what used to be a road at one time like a wagon road and it's just there's such a, a canopy above it that it, even in our most droughted times ever it will remain wet in there because it's just so damaged so used to you had to go through it and it was rough but they've they've built a new trail up above here um the forest service did and i'm sure it's horseback riders or hikers or or whomever but it's so much better than going through that because from what i recall it was hard to get through that but a tree has fallen and that used to be the trail but now they're pretty much reverting around the tree so out here you can't bring a chainsaw you'd have to bring a cross cut saw i think a stick touched me and i thought i thought i was getting bit by a snake <laughs> we are in rattlesnake country indian kitchen going towards the kitchen folks getting close to the kitchen probably almost to the horse tie up so once you get to the nature preserve and you go down um, you'll you'll come up to a trail that goes to your your right right before the little check-in box so what you want to do is go to that trail that goes to your right and it'll take you down and you'll get to a part where you will edge the top of the bluff. I mean, it gets kind of sketchy if you're afraid of heights, I wouldn't do it. But uh, it will take you to what the actual Indian kitchen is. But you can see we're like right on the edge and that freaks a lot of people out. So you definitely want to be safe, use caution. And here you see shelter. So this is the Indian kitchen shelter. And it's kind of neat. So it's just a cool looking shelter. I remember they thought they cooked here or, or did whatever. You know. uh, there's carvings in the ground, but they're modern. Nothing's petroglyph or anything. There's the edge. I don't get too close. It's hot. <laughs> Could get dizzy. But it's pretty cool. 